You know, Moderna, Moderna is in stage three of their vaccine development. And, you know, the vaccine is already there. They're just pretending that they've got to develop it. It's already developed. Moderna, when Moderna was formed, the first CEO of Moderna was a young Cornell graduate by the name of Anthony Fauci. Interesting, he was the first CEO of Moderna when he graduated from Cornell. When he was at Cornell, his roommate was one Bill Gates. Interesting, Bill Gates and Anthony Fauci were roommates at Cornell. Fauci was the first CEO of Moderna. Moderna, the company Moderna, there was a company in World War II that was heavily involved with what happened in World War II, and I don't buy into the official story of World War II, but there were certain experiments that were being done, and there was a company that was heavily involved by the name of IG Farben. IG Farben was run by a Jewish guy turned a Nazi, later turned American, by the name of George Soros. George Soros broke up IG Farben and he formed Moderna. One of the main financial backers of Moderna. So the, you now you've got Bill Gates, you've got Anthony Fauci, you've got George Soros all involved in this whole Moderna thing. And one of the main financial backers of Moderna up until his alleged death was one Jeffrey Epstein. Interesting little circle of friendship, don't you think? And these people, mates, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's frustrating. It's frustrating to look at all this shit. It really is. Even with waking people up, I mean, there's other ways to look at this. There's other ways to look at what's really going on here. I mean, half of it is just frustration because it's going to come here. I mean, I don't want to get to the point where I can't go to the shop. And that's what it'll get to. I mean, they're saying, you know, oh, we're not going to make it mandatory. It's like they don't make it mandatory for the people on Centrelink here who receive Centrelink payments. They don't make vaccinations mandatory for them either. What they do is they send them a notice saying, listen, we're going to reduce your payments well, I think it's something like 29 or 30 bucks a fortnight until you get your children vaccinated and we're not just going to reduce it by you know 30 bucks or 29 bucks a fortnight this fortnight we're going to do it this fortnight and then we'll reduce it again another 29 dollars the next fortnight and then we'll do it again the next fortnight and this reduction will continue until you've got your children vaccinated so we'll just basically reduce you to the point that you have no income whatsoever because we want to protect your children. <laughs> it's just, it's what they do, but we're not gonna make it mandatory. It's not mandatory. We'll give you a choice. You don't have to go and get vaccinated. You could uh, just let your payments get reduced to zero or you could go get a job. But of course, you won't be able to work in any of the industries unless you're vaccinated. But we're not gonna force you to get vaccinated. This is how they do it, folks. This is how they do it. This is this whole thing, you know? And it's all because people, you know, won't stand up for themselves. They're not prepared to be human beings, realise that they don't have any owners. We can do what we can, but it's not up to us to wake everybody up. If people don't get it, then they don't get it. And if they don't get it now, well, you know, ignorance is truly a choice in this day and age, folks. If they can't see what's happening, then I don't really know how to help them from that point, you know. But we've got to face the reality that, you know, a lot of people probably won't make it through. A lot of people probably won't get it.